As you can see, there are two visuals on this report page, a slicer and a matrix. And the values have been passed to both the visuals as shown here. And if you go to the matrix visual, and if you scroll down, the corresponding values are shown uh, year wise, as you can see 2025, 20, 24 and so on. If uh, the user makes any selections on the slicer, those values are shown. What we want is in case if the user makes selections on the slicer, we want the values to be shown across all the years for that particular date. For example, first January and all. So um, what we could do is uh, we can create a disconnected table first as shown here. Go to modeling and new table, disconnected calendar table equal to calendar table. We'll commit to it. We have a table ready and it's a disconnected table. Perfect. And we can do all those uh, changes here in the table view, sorting and all that stuff, right? So that our disconnected calendar table is ready. And next is we can go to the report page. We can swap out the values for the slicer. We'll bring the new date from the disconnected table. Similarly, for the matrix, we will replace the date with the uh, date from the disconnected table. Perfect, right? So this is so far so good. What uh, the next step is we will create a new measure we will name it as across years same day equal to we will use the sum x function it's an iterator function it expects a table as a first parameter we will use filter function again for the filter table is the first parameter we'll use the calendar table and for the filter expression we'll say that hey for the month we'll use the month function over the calendar table date is equal to month function over selected value function and we'll grab the date from the disconnected calendar table date and the second condition will be we'll use the day function over the calendar table date equal to day function we'll use the selected value function here and we'll grab the date from the disconnected table this will be the filter expression for the sum x the expression will be the measure number of complaints we are happy here we can commit to it and we can do the formatting and we'll replace the number of uh, complaints values with this measure across years so perfect we have everything working for us this is what we wanted i have gone ahead and uh, improved upon this if you make any selection those change and i've used a, a third party play access uh, as shown here that visual you can download from the app source and also for the matrix i have done some conditional formatting and i've also added a line chart uh, below as you can see right so I've used the same values. If you go to uh, format and icons, you can add, add those icons as conditional formatting for the matrix. So if a user makes any selections, those values will change. Pretty cool, right? So thanks for watching. See you in the next video.